Morning there, Bianca. Certainly plenty of material to cover. You know the classic sitcom, The Honeymooners. Well, through the pandemic, some actors right here in New York City decided to put their spin on it with their web series called The Honey Zoomers. Listen to this. Uh, you did? I did. Listen to this. I'm listening. I told you, listen, Johnson, we haven't always seen each other eye to eye, I know. But uh, I come here to make a deal. Man to... <laughs> Man to man. You said that? I said that. And what did he say? And take a deep breath, you're gonna get an asthma attack. You're right. Wait, I don't got asthma. Get ahead. <laughs> so playwright Charles Messina was on his way to bringing his musical The Wanderer based on Bronx-born doo-wop legend Dion to Broadway when the pandemic hit. So he called in the help of those two actors, Johnny Tamaro, along with Jolie Tribuzio for his concept of Honey Zoomers. It just became a real opportunity to stay creative, to work remotely, to have the actors shoot their scenes separately, and to edit them together seamlessly so they would appear to be in the same room and, you know, with an overlay of a soundtrack and shoot it in black and white like an old-fashioned show and have a, an opening theme song and, uh, you know, keep it going week to week. And uh, here we are, you know, 39 weeks later, 39 episodes later. Pretty impressive, and the web series also got the stamp of approval from Joyce Randolph, who played Trixie, the only remaining cast member from the original Honeymooners. Now, there were only 39 episodes of the iconic show filmed, and episode 39, ironically, of Honey Zoomers streams tomorrow, so you can start binging the other 38 today.